Sorry for a long, long time. Fail. That was not a question. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sentence. <laughs> oh, now you're going to be shy. <laughs> okay. Are your questions over? Yeah. Your statement's over? Yeah. Can we do this? Yeah. Okay. As long as we have your permission. All right. All right. Okay. So let me introduce you. We have... Victoria Scott, author of the Dante Walker series, and Fire and Blood, mm -hmm. and we have April... Too Hulky. Too Hulky. I, was, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, author of Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. So, here we go. Fire and Blood. Yes. We want to know more about it. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to... Um, mm -hmm. Gosh, what can I say without giving too much away? It's a hard one. It is. Um, it's very, very different from the Dante Walker series. They could not be more different. Um, the love interest is completely different. Polar opposite to Dante Walker. Um, it's definitely more of a thriller, whereas the collector is... Um, I don't know why I keep comparing it to the other series, but I guess it's easier for me. It's paranormal romance. Um, what can I say? Okay, I'll, so, I'll tell you this much because I haven't told anybody else. It's a very personal story to me. And I don't know if I'm going to come out later and say why it's personal, but it is um, the concept of going through a dangerous race in order to save someone is a big thing for me, so I'll say that. But, um, and I love the Pandoras. It's why I basically wrote it. I wanted to write a book of animals, so... <laughs> There you go. Awesome, awesome. Um, April. Mm -hmm. We have a sequel? There is. There's one sequel. It's not a trilogy. So. Oh, that's fine with me. I'm completely okay with that. Because I needed more. I was like, this can't be where it is. Mm -hmm. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Um, obviously, if you ever need a cheerleader for that sequel, just to tell you that you're amazing, I'm here. <laughs> just to let you know. No, no, like critical feedback. Just you're amazing. That's what my response. That's, that's just in case you need to pick me up. I'm here. I can do that for you. Alrighty. Um, you could be a character in between the devil and the blue sea. Oh, yes. What character would you be? Oh, what character would I be? God, such a toss-up. Because I want to be Violet, because I want to be with River. <laughs> and then I want to be River just because he's awesome. <laughs> I want to be I know. Um, I have to go with Violet because I want to be with River. <laughs> good choice, good choice. And she has the mansion. Yes, she And I know he has, you know, but like, we don't see the mansion place. still. The I mansion. got more introduced to that. So, yeah. I want that mansion. Yes. Oh, the attic. Oh. And the trunks and stuff. I know, I just want to I'm scream. Wardrobe. I'm writing Violet, and at the same time, I want to scream at her. Would you go through that stuff in the attic? I so love of God. There's really cool things like yeah. that. Just, just go through it. Just go. Forget River for two seconds. No, for yes. two seconds. Just, and just a little bit. The yes. <laughs> okay, so, and question for you. Who would you be in the Dante Walker series? Why don't you just read? Have you not read it? But I'm buying it today. You want to be Dante, though. Really, really, yes. Because he's Are a bad, horrible person. I already read the premise. I want to be Dante. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of want to be red. You want to be red? Oh, yeah, she's I'm like a vivacious bust. It's just sassy, and she just. Oh, I like that too. I'll be sad. She's not very evil. She works for like the good side. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because she's like an angel, but she cusses and like smokes. She's like Mae West. I'm picturing Mae West with yes. red hair. I, love I picture the girl from Mad Men, the redhead from Mad Men. Yeah. She's that's the girl I had in my mind when. She does, yeah. yeah. So she wants to be either Valerie or Dante. Yes. <laughs> Those, she could be good or bad. I read her book and I know that she wants to be the bad people. So. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being the bad people. Uh, okay. Got any questions? I want to know what Dante's going to be up to next. After the ending of that, oh my sweet goodness. Okay. Don't give anything 
do I need to leave? Sure. No. No. Okay, that game's Most of the last book takes place in the hive. Um, which I'll go into detail about. Um, I think everybody is finally even past collectors that are now working for the good side ever like accepted that they work for the good side but Dante is the lingering where he's still feeling kind of like he's a demon and why should he be working on the good side and he's very conflicted up that until the very last moment of the book and I think that's kind of the internal his internal arc during the story is that he's bad in the first book clearly he's mm -hmm. still kind of bad in the second book in the third book I think he finally has to make that transition to being Good. Still cocky and arrogant, but like accepting his inner goodness because you know he believes he's horrible and a demon. And she had to picture for you. Thank you. Can I keep it? Thank you. This is awesome. Um, so. You said what's going on in the last book? Yeah, I mean, I know kind of where we're at. No spoilers? But yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. There's definitely a lot more um, conflict for... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, a lot. And I'll say Charlie changes a lot. Well, you already see her. Book. She went from being goody-goody two-shoes. But she's got... And now my Twitter is going that it's like she's trying to understand Dante a little bit more, yeah. I guess. So she's trying to keep an open mind, with him but not really. Yeah. She's like, she becomes very, very strong in the last book. And I think you'll know yeah. why, but because the end yeah. of the second book. So. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Don't, do not read the collector series after I read your book. Please. What? I'll send you Fire and Flood if you want to read something of mine. I'll read anything. Okay. Just don't read my... You're, you're way too good to be reading my collector series. Like, I'm not bashing my own books. I'm just, I feel like I've improved since then. So, please, for the love of God, read my newer work. They're fun. They are fun. I love fun. I'm a huge fan of It's really inappropriate humor. Like, really inappropriate humor. Are you an appropriate girl? I don't know. What do you mean by inappropriate? You mean like, like sexy like or do you laughing at things that you shouldn't be laughing at? Okay. <laughs> like, we have evil minds going on here. And they're like, not looking great. And like, everyone else would be thinking, this person looks kind of busted up, you know? But Dante's going to say it out loud, like in a really horrible way, and make everybody laugh and be like, oh my god, you know? It's like if you like Family Guy, and you can laugh kind at that. Like family Guy, <laughs> yes. then. So the, the people either love it because they're like, oh my god, I laugh at that stuff all the time, or people are like, he's so inappropriate, I hate him. It's one or the other. It's polarizing. You no, know, polarizing is good. I like it. I, yeah. It's, I mean, it's you better. can write safe and everything will yes. be nice for you, but, or you can write polarizing. That's what I said. And, you know, I was like, I'm writing an anti-hero, and you're either going to love him yeah. or you're going to hate it's him. That's ironic. It's a byronic hero. Yes. yes. I just, love it. <laughs> so we're just doing the interview here. <laughs> It is 148. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What else do we want to ask them? You While we have them both here. You working on yeah. after she finishes the second book. Yes, that's a good one for yeah. me. I am half done with uh, Post Apocalypse called The Scarecrow. So it's um, no magic or anything, just, uh, you know. Hey, I like that Dying title. World. Damn good. So how far are you in that I'm process? Half, I'm half. Mm -hmm. So and I've already had got. So you're some pretty close to sending it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. It's you're pretty close for Tori. Stamp, mm -hmm. stamp of approval. Pretty close to getting in my inbox. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was done. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh. It's kids being evil to other kids. I could do that. Yeah. Of course, I've got children who play zombie apocalypse instead of like house. Yeah. They have their little Nerf guns. They're like, we gotta turn off the lights. We're hunting zombies. I'm like, y'all are awesome. Oh my gosh. You had a parade? Yeah. I can totally see it. She just read out. She something. It's very serious. She is. She's in her own little world. What are you, what are you doing? I mean, you have your... Can I talk off the record about it? Yes. Pause it. I'm working. Oh, you should totally keep the can I talk off the record about it? <laughs>